And this is one of the lamps that I used, again made in France, Ostrom 230 volt 40 watt H388, which the H is, that's the date code, the um, H is the factory, year is the, um, H is the factory, 3 is the year, uh, 2013, A is I think October, but that might be November, 8, no idea what that is, or if that has any meaning, I've all, every single Ostrom date code that I've seen of this format has an 8 at the end. And I know it's from um, 2013 because of a printing code on the inside of the box. Focus. Focus. There. Yeah, December 2013, but the lamp was made in October. Um, so yeah. There's one interesting thing about this, that it's an A17, or A17 and a half envelope, because it looks to be just slightly bigger than these A17 lamps. Um, this is a, um, these are some uh, Halogen uh, Austin Sylvania Super Saver lamps. Those have an A17 envelope, but they've got a very long base. This is um, a circa 1950s American Standard 20 watt vacuum fill sign lamp, which is somewhat unusual. Lamps of this type normally have a hydrogen gas fill just for um, rapid ingressance for ch moving message signs. And um, this, which is a 1920s, or possibly very early 1930s, but I suspect because of the outside etch, it's uh, 1920s, uh, General Electric Mazda lamp. Still works, of course, and the um, red paint on it is just a virtue of the fact that when this lamp was made, colored lamps were not very common. So it was common for people to use lamp dyes and lamp paints and just color their own. And just leaving that, that I scraped the bit off just to see what the power rating of the lamp was, but I'm leaving the rest of it on just as a bit of the lamp's history. And just as an example, this is what you had to do to make colored lamps at one time. That's somewhat interesting. And of course there's the fairly typical um, two support C6 filament that a lot of European, oh no, cats, that a lot of European general lighting service incandescent lamps had, or have. And it's also why it has a PS17 envelope instead of an A. 17 just by virtue of the fact that the wider envelope neck is needed to fit the larger filament assembly into the lamp whereas a19 lamps which most which is the smallest with the exception of 15 watt lamps it's the smallest um, commonly used GLS lamp um, envelope used and that's um which is perfectly fine up to about 60 or 75 watts, but for 100s you really want more like an A21 envelope, even though most of them at least did use A19s. Although you can still get 100 watt commercial service lamps with A21 envelopes.